Hi everyone, I'm Janelle with Tunes Unlimited and I wanted to do this video to kind of illustrate for some people who are having a hard time wrapping their mind around what is this application and what can it do for me. Um, Crazy Talk Animator 3, 2, or 1 is an animation software. Um, there's a person in the forum who who stated, you know, is everything pre-motions? Can I do frame by frame? You know, what is this application's capability? So I'm going to try to explain that real quick um, using these characters that I have on the stage as well as just going through a brief history on this application. So we're into generation three of Crazy Talk Animator. So Generation 1 was a single angle character. And basically Generation 1 and 2 only had a human body template. So if you wanted like a dog and stuff like that, it was a little challenging because the body structure was still built with the naming conventions and, and the body structure of a human character. With G three characters yes they do have a human template however they have the free bone which allows you to animate anything now you can create your own body structure for whatever type of animal object um, creature anything that you can imagine you can put the bone structure in there and animate that character that is the power of the g3 characters however G1 has um, the capability, all of these have the capability to do frame by frame animation. And in this case, frame by frame animation is not like you see on Disney. It's not like you're going to be able to draw your own frame um, animation for each character. You cannot draw um, frame by frame your own animation. Instead, it's more of a pose-to-pose -pose animation, meaning the characters are all there, the body structure is all built out, and you are rigging your character like a puppet to do an animation. Yes, it is capable of doing that version of a frame-by-frame. -frame. I can go, you know, X amount of frames in and have this character do all different types of stuff. So, can it do a frame-by-frame -frame animation? Not really. It's more of what you call pose-to-pose -pose animation. Um, yes, all three of these generations are capable of doing them. However, to understand what the limitations are for each version of these characters, I will break it down. G1 characters have G1 pre-made motions. The beauty of Crazy Talk Animator is that all of your characters come with pre-motions. This is great for people who do not know how to animate. If you were working in Flash, not only would you have to draw everything, but you will also have to know how to animate everything frame by frame. With this particular application, you don't necessarily have to draw um, cause, because it comes with scenes, it comes with characters, it comes with props that's animated, all of these things to help someone who may be a beginner, novice, immediate, or even an expert do animation much faster. G1 characters have G1 motions. And when you go to the G1 motions, they are all here. I can make this character do all of the motions that's within this G1 category. In addition to that, G1 mo characters have um, the 2D motion editor. So if I wanted her in five frames to take her arm and raise it up, whether it's towards her face or something like here, I can do that. And when I go back, you will see her frame is lowered. If I play it out, she will raise her hand. I can determine how many, how fast I do it by how many frames I give her from the time that she starts to the time that she gets to her face. Um, you can apply ease, in and ease out. All of these different animation characteristics are in this application for you to use. That is a, for a generation one character, a G1 character. G2 
came with 10 angle views and this allowed people to do more of a 3D motion using 2D characters because it would swap out the angles based off of the animation that was available to it. G2 characters have G2 motions. In addition to that, if you are a iClone, um, if you own the iClone software and you have a, um, a camera, you can make your own motions up and you can import them in to the G2 characters. You can also purchase addition, additional eye motions and apply them to G2 characters. Why? Because it will switch all of the different sprites out to make it look like your character is 3D, 3D, although it's still 2D. And again, these motions are here. You know, these are the ones that come with um, the application. So I can make her jog. In addition to that, let me see, I'm not even sure I began to, to put, I, I do have some eye motions. So some of my eye motions that I purchased, you can see she can do a dance. All of this is sprite switching and using pre-motions. This is what G2 will get you. 10 angles, the ability, the ability to Pose your character in a hell of a lot more positions than a single angle character can do, which is why G2 was very popular. Now you're going to move over to G. Oh, now for frame by frame for a G2 character, you have the 3D motion editor. The 3D motion 3D motion editor will allow you to. Again, go X amount of frames or however you want to animate this character and move things around. You control what you want to do with this character and how you want this character to behave. There's pieces that's locked for the character bend, to be able to bend their knees and there's pieces where you can unlock it so that the application knows what you are trying to do for that character. But it's all here. You determine what you want to do. This is what G2 gets you. In addition to the 3D motions, you can also use the 2D motions for a G2 character. The difference is with 2D motions, you can't easily switch the body left and right and swing it. You only are within the limits of that angle. So as long as I'm in this angle, she can move her arms up and down and stuff, but I can't make her her arms come towards me like I could with a G3 motion. I would have to go into the 3D motion editor, go into the arms, and then I can make them do more stuff. I can bring it to me around. You control how you want that arm to go. So that is G1 and G2 characters. Now, again, the the thing with G3 is, do they have a, a human template? Yes. And with that human template, can I do um, human animations with it? Yes, you can. But the difference with a G3 is, in addition to that, I can put bring anything to the stage and make it animate. I can draw a spider and put this in there and make each individual leg animate. That's the power of G3. That's why everyone is gravitating to it. That's what makes this application even more powerful. But G3, because it doesn't know this is a human. All it knows is this character is wireframed up for animation. You cannot use the traditional G1 and G2 um, editors because I'm not, sorry, not G1. You cannot use the 3D motion editor. You cannot use the 2D motion editor because those were all built on a human body template. Instead, what you can use is the motion key editor. And when you go into it, as you can see, the body is still broken up in limbs. You still can do frame in your case, frame by frame animation or pose by pose animation using 
this motion key editor. It just, it's just that because it does not know this is a human, this is a dog, this is an octopus, this is, you know, whatever thing, whatever your mind can imagine, all it knows is here's your bone structure, here's the joints you gave me, and here's how you can animate it. And it's up to you to do those animations. But G3 does have human animation. So it says, hey, if you use my human templates, you can then apply all of these motions to this particular style character. If you use my human template that is um, front angle, here's all the motions for a front angle. If you use my human template that is a side angle, here's all the motions for the side angle. Same thing with the, um, the animals, you know, with, with, whether it's a dog or a horse or a cat. The pre-motions that comes with it, if you build yourself a dog and you want this character to behave like a dog, you don't have to use their dog. You can use their template so that you maintain that same structure and then you can turn around using your own personal dog that you created or that you imported and still be able to apply those dog-like animation, those behaviors. That is G3. So these are your G1, G2, and G3 characters. However, Crazy Talk Animator is a very robust application. It's not just limited to characters. And that's what people don't fully understand. There is no one tutorial meets all for this application. This application is used for just so many different um, features. I mean, some people are creating animations. Some people are just posing their characters and creating um creating content that complements a product that they're selling or um, a PowerPoint presentation at their job. People have avatars that they want to use for their website. Um, it's just so many different things that you can get to this application that one tutorial is just not going to make it. Some people may not ever need to use the, um, the lip syncing. They might not want their character to talk. It's all about the pose and what they can do with it. If a person is creating a um, a game, an app, they're going to want to rig their character up and have them doing very simple animations so that, hey, when I push this button, my character punch. When I push this button, my character runs. The way you export that type of function is completely different from the way you would do a normal export of an animation. So again, the features are here. Nobody will know exactly what you want to use this um, this application for. What's your purpose of using it? You might use it for multiple different things, but all of the features are here and all the functionality is here, but it's not going to be given in just a one-step tutorial. It's going to be multiple tutorials and it's up to you to put those pieces together to figure out what you need to get out this application. So if you do know frame by frame, it's really simple. You go to whether it's a 2D motion editor, 3D motion editor, or the motion key editor, you now understand how to move your characters around. You may need to learn how to do camera animations, close-ups, you know, pans, all of these things are different tutorials. These are all different aspects of animation that you can find on YouTube or in other places. This is like animation one-on-one, -on -one, no matter what type of application you use. A lot of these features are built in. For Relusion, Relusion has been doing tutorials for how to do different pieces of their software for years. So just because we're on Crazy Talk Animator 3, it does not mean that the principles from Crazy Talk Animator 1 or 2 does not apply. They are there. If you want to learn how to use different functions of this application, you don't have to wait for a G, uh, Crazy Talk Animator 3 version to come out. You can simply go to the older versions of it. All of these things are, it's the, it's the same platform with new features. Um, there, it's all there. You just have to take your time, learn an application, play around with it, know its limitations. Um, now with the render style, you can change colors 
of the characters with a G2. You can change the colors of the characters with a G1. You cannot change it with a G3. So it's just different features that you have to learn how to use and understand. And that will, that will allow you to get the most out of this application. But this application is a very powerful tool. It has a lot of features built inside of it. And um, it's, it's going to take some time. You're not going to just necessarily hit the ground running from day one. You're going to have to get the fundamentals of different features and bring them all together. And that's when your animation comes to life. So hopefully this answers your question on what Crazy Talk Animator can do. And you can start checking out some of the different YouTube videos that Volusion provides and get started learning how to bring your own animation to life. Take care. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for new content every week. If you would like to purchase my product, head over to my store for characters, props, and scenes. If you enjoyed this video, here is a link to another video you might like from this channel. Thanks for joining and take care.